man, you come straight out of a cone. On Zooming with the homies, a lot of the comments was about how CT and Shantae's mic sound immaculate, right? See? And yeah. I'm like, hey, I spent a good, decent chunk of change on this mic, and nobody's ever announced that my mic sounded good. So I was like, I, I was feeling insecure in that moment. It's so, pretty trash. So, Dion, you pretty much just con confirmed <laughs> that my mic ain't what I thought it was. And now. It's just compared to somebody else. That's all it is. <laughs> now, 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 as he says it, it's like, it sound good. But it's like someone got plastic over it. Like I hear you, but it's like what well, a sound. Like you know, like the sound vibrations when you see them. Mm -hmm. like somebody's doing this. Yeah, yeah. The you, price tag got in the chokehold right now, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I got, I got, I, I got to wreck. I got to do all my list on Watch Mojo all over again. I got to tell them like, hey, scratch that shit. I don't need that trash mic. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to hit. I'm about to get CT's exact setup. Nah, the, the, the I'm editors, telling you, the editors got like 15 plugins on top of your shit right now. They fix <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm the only Watch Mojo auto tune person. They auto tune to my Watch Mojo. <laughs> Listen, if you go to a guitar center, you might even be able to look at Amazon. Just type in R O D E Mike. Road Mike should be giving me money for the way I'm advertising them. <laughs> I owe all of this to Nate Jackson. He's the one who told me about this mic. And uh, yeah, man. Wait, you got the time for me to break. It's the only time for me to upgrade. And they're not even they're not even a lot of money, man. They're like not. I I went to Guitar Center and I was like, hey, I need a roll mic. And they were like, oh, we only have three left. I'm like, I'll take all three. <laughs> Just because. You. you know what's funny is we have a road mic here. It's my brothers who is the technical person. And I chose the sure mic because I'm like, all I got is looks. <laughs> I don't know why you're so sure about it. Hey, hello. hello. Yo, I don't listen normally to me. get those. I don't normally get Dion those. Dion Lack no is obviously one of my best friends. This is no secret. <laughs> but Dion Lack is so funny, bro. Did you hear the insert? Hello. <laughs> it's all because for ladies and gentlemen who are watching this. We started talking about hair in the beginning before we recorded. <laughs> and Dion Lack has got the fresh baldy, and he hates when we talk about hair. And he came in and attacked their mics immediately. <laughs> and here we are. Me, me, I, I, know so mic, I know my mic ain't shit, so I was, I'm was. i kind of like a Pokemon. The attack was not as effective. Yeah. The Deuce, the Deuce, though, Deuce is having a full meltdown over there. Bro, like, he's, he's very <laughs> deep on me. You just gave Bro, him the red pill, and he's like, no, he uh, what was uh, what was old boy in uh, Civil War? Zemo, right? That was his name. That uh, I, he buried Zemo me. Now I'm just like I'm doubting everything. Because <laughs> this is his life. This is what Zeus <laughs> does. And he attacked the mic, bro. Woo, cold game. Oh, oh, I'm glad we have something to talk about today, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because. We have a great rhythm, all four of us, especially Brody when he comes in, the fifth one. But the funny thing be, I know our chemistry is great, and I'm somebody that likes to 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 touch in it when we can touch in it, right? I don't like just doing it just to do it. And I felt at one point, anything that would happen on TV, it'd be like a commercial for like the Super Bowl, we'll be like, hey, y'all want to talk about this tomorrow? We're like, hey, man, hey, let's wait for a movie to drop. When I started having more segments to do like my fandom fiction, the debates and stuff like that, I was like, you know what? These are better. Like, so you know what it was? Something Paul Heyman said about Brock Lesnar. What? If you saw him wrestle every week, the spectacle of him would disappear. And then Facts. Brock would just be another person. So I'm like, with these, it's like, yo, like, save this lineup for when it's the heavy stuff. Yeah, when we need to come back. Everything else, that's when we can fill in like the new people, everybody that is wanting to be on this platform and stuff. But for this one, like this occasion for this episode, that's when you bring the good chemistry in. Yeah, and, man. Yeah, man. So of course, welcome to another episode of Straight Out of a Comic Book. I'm Will Farrow. You know we got Spider Deuce, CT is dope, Morales, Spider Lack, and of course me, Pharaoh Punk. And if you have seen Spider Man across the spidey verse you already know this is what we talking about but for folks that have it we about to talk a lot about this movie so if you still have not seen it hey you can go enjoy some other things watch the previous episode with myself young deuces terrence green and um 
Brandon Brody, we all came up with our own Spider-Man. Go check that one out. It is spoiler free until you see the movie, then come back. Yeah, yeah. That's that's your only warning. After that, we talking about a whole bunch <laughs> of shit. Um, two hundred million opening mm. weekend mm. domestically. Got to be domestically. Domestic. We ain't mm. even went worldwide. Domestic. Mm. Let me tell y'all something. Like like so, we all went to the theaters to see it, right? So I got mm. very I got very interesting story about this. So I got I uh I, I received tickets to go see it for free. Um, which I later learned were not tickets. Um, what? And I should read better. Yeah, this is this is all about <laughs> how black people need to read. Keep so, talking, nigga. Keep talking. I'm excited. So <laughs> I get I get invited to go see Spider Man, and my homeboy was like, "Yo, you want to go see a screening?" And it's right around the corner from me in downtown. I was like, "I can go right to the theater right there." I was like, "Bet that's perfect." And I was like, okay, cool. Got my tickets. Then I saw CT's uh, text message, and I was like, Flash is coming out. I got CT on Flash. We we yeah. we going to Flash together. I already committed to this one. So we get there, and um, I want to make sure I get there early. So I I get a scooter. I get to the, I, I scoot, and I get there. <laughs> and then when I get there, it's this group that I'm meeting. There's a group of people. A few of them I know. A few of them you don't know. You know that type of group. And so we sitting there waiting, and I'm still contemplating about getting a drink, getting the popcorn. And then all of a sudden, they give me this blue ticket that you put around your wrist. Okay. And then that's when I started getting suspicious. Like, we go out to stand in line for something. I don't, I don't, mm -hmm. where is my seat assignment? I was mm -hmm. like, that's my first thing. Where is my seat assignment? Yeah. And I didn't get one. I said, mm -hmm. something is going to go horribly wrong. Mm -hmm. And it did. Apparently, our entire group was not going to be able to go into this screening because they booked oh. the wrong theater. Oh. Oh. Booked the wrong theater. So they gave out way too many tickets for the theater that they had. So they were like, we're going to go to AMC in North Hollywood. And I'm like, I didn't drive. And I, if I scoot to my house, my house <laughs> is not going to let me leave. Um, that's just how my house works. That's true. So, yeah, so I was just like, I can't defy my house. They was like, no, 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 you should just try to see if you could get into this one, but I would just go now. So I was like, man, screw the popcorn, screw the drink. I go up there, and then four other dudes that were black, that were my height. I don't know why I described it like that, but I just wanted to get a description of who was with me yep. when we went up there. And so these are people I don't know. They were in the group of the friends, but they were friends of the friends in that group that I don't know. Mm -hmm. But we all were commune together for Miles Morales. We we came to bond for Miles Morales. So we get up to the theater. Dion, the shut, shut up. Shut up, Dion. <laughs> we get in the line. And um, I'm not, I don't want to start this off on a bad note, but when I say um, the division between blacks and Latinos is definitely <laughs> shown. <laughs> This opening weekend. <laughs> the you, we were the only four black men standing in that movie. And they kept letting all these, these Hispanic people pass by and go in. I'm like, wait a minute. Y'all know he's both races, right? <laughs> Some of us need to be in attendance. He represents both of us, not just one. Yeah. And so right when we get to the front where we next, because they count in groups, that's when they tell us it's full. Wow. And we turn it around. And so now I'm thinking like Denzel. I'm from around the way. I'm leaving here watching something. I'm leaving here watching something. <laughs> I'm leaving here watching something. Yeah. And I'm walking and then I see a theater and it says, uh, and our movie was supposed to start at eight o'clock. This one says it starts at 7.30. It's 7.55. And I'm knowing, I'm like, yo, Give trailers are 20 minutes. Give me that ticket. I turned, I ain't need no ticket. I just walked in. I said, fuck it. I just walked right in. I thought they were gonna follow behind me. They not they them did. type of blacks. They, they not did. your responsibility either. <laughs> nope, they was not my responsibility. Because these ain't your friends. These yeah, are just know. randoms. I heard them laugh. Say he really went in. Yes, I did. I <laughs> hey, 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 you. Hey, yo, he really went in. <laughs> <laughs> and I really did. And I really did. Hey, wait, I go in. on you. Theater ain't even that full. You know, they had to got the screen and then those chairs right there. But that last row that's still comfortable for you to look at and not hurt your neck literally only missed the first 10 seconds of the movie and got to Perfect. enjoy the whole thing yeah. for free. That, well, it wasn't for free, but 
Listen, that is amazing. I'm glad that story ended like that because, yeah. listen, man, if anybody tell you anything, I don't do group stuff unless I trust the host. You understand me? And when you got a situation like that, I ask for details. Now, if he's yeah. like, hey, yo, you want this ticket? You already know. Y'all been in the movies with me several times. If this is a movie where I'm like, I got all these tickets, just be there at this time. You know you're good. If I say, hey, come to this movie, get your tickets. That also tells you, get your ticket, you got your seat. But yeah. the whole show up, and first of all, who was the idiot that didn't get the seats? <laughs> That's my first question. <laughs> Why do they think this is okay? Yeah, yeah. I, it's the, I believe it was the people who said it. I think it was more of, hey, we got booked to do a screening, and we need to fill up this thing so we can keep doing these screenings. Deuce, I know you're getting ready to do the flash screening, so you're kind of familiar with that. And I think they just wanted to fill it, not try to go like, hey, had a strategy like how you would have. I'm going to invite my friends. My yeah. friends are going to have this whole section. They already going to know their numbers. Right. Mm -hmm. Whoever else I get is to, you got the front row where the screen is at. However many that is, first come, first serve. They didn't do that with any of this stuff. Yeah, because you got to give so, instructions. That's what we did for our screen. Yeah. We gave everybody instructions like, look, this is not a guarantee seat because it's a screener. So get there early because it's first come, first serve. Like, we made sure we told that. Like, you got to at least tell people that so they can make the mm -hmm. decision if they want to, you know, roll this dice or not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. seeing Flash a couple times, and this is what I got into. BT Kingsley was like, yo. I'm going to get the tickets. I say, cool. <clears throat> I'm going to tell y'all exactly where we're going and the times. If y'all want to come up there, it's Topanga Canyon. However, he's been talking about this. And I said, all right, man, get these tickets. We're going to go. Because my thing be, if it's a fire movie like Spider-Verse, at the movie theater that I've been taking y'all to recently, mm -hmm. they don't have the recline seats for the brand new movie. The brand new movie has to be there for a week and then it goes to the reclining theater. So I'd be like, ah, but smaller movies go to reclining spots. And I'm like, damn, but I do want to see my Flash movie in recliners. I've been avoiding every trailer. I've been avoiding every invite because people have been doing screenings for the past week and be like, hey, come to the screener. I'm like, I'm going to just wait. But I appreciate it because I want to see it with my people. I don't want to just go in just to see the movie. Yeah. DC did a good job though too. Like the few trailers they've released is much. It's all really just the same thing, just reclipped in a different good. organization and stuff like that. But they even said to that point they're only doing one premiere, mm -hmm. just so it doesn't give away anything. I it love was, that. Specifically, the ending. They said whatever this secret ending is supposed to be like this big ending, whatever that is. Because even in the screener that they're giving us, they told us that uh, ten minutes of the ending is going to be gone. So whatever this ending is, it's it's about to be an amazing fucking ending that they're not allowing the screeners to see it. And that, and that one premiere is going to be the one that has the ending. So, I mean, I'm excited to see exactly what they're going to do. Because wait a minute, you're saying all these screenings that have been happening don't have the ten minutes in there? Yep. Good. Good. Yep. Yeah, I love that. Because that means that can't nobody spoil nothing until it comes out. Yep. And I don't waste my damn time missing the 10 <laughs> minutes of day anyway. Made the right decision. I was like, that was genius. I was like, y'all have been doing a lot with these movie endings, but we're gonna get into that later in this episode. Yeah. Uh, but I do want to start off with the hot topic uh, with Spider-Man across the uh, Spideyverse. Of course, man, it is now finally out. Um, if whatever you expected it to be, it delivered that plus more. And so because of that, I know y'all have been seeing this question. <laughs> and we know that this is going to not be the first debate of this. But Spider-Man sequels. We got four four generations of spiders now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Now they have said this one is the best sequel out of the four spider. Oh. And I oh. want to get your opinion on that statement. I, I don't think it's fair to say that because this this one I don't feel like it was complete. You know, it's it's like a, a premise of a, a like it was kind of like was it a Matrix Revolution or where it was called? It kind of felt like it was a yeah. it was re yeah. reloaded reloaded. It felt like no, I think it's revolution because that was that was that was two parts, right? Mm -hmm. we're, we're reloaded reloaded is the second one. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and I felt like and, and you know, you know, when you when you watch a movie, you feel the music is like something mm -hmm. feel off. Why are y'all hyping this part up real quick? And I was like, yep. this movie better not go off. 
like, oh. <laughs> you know, yes. I was like, Dun, and I was like, this, this, this bet not go off. And I'm looking yeah. at the, char- the characters did it for me when I saw the old <laughs> one from the first one. When I saw Spider Man Noir, I was like, this finna go off. Y'all wouldn't just show him right now was, for, for 10 like, minutes. He like, here no. for two hours. I was like, oh, yeah. a big fight about to happen now. <laughs> and then it's like it was a big fight about that. Go ahead, Will. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 no. It's on you. Go. No, no, so no, no. it's it. like a big fight about to happen, but at the same time, you like this is a big fight over here, but this is a big moment over here. Yeah. How y'all gonna do both? Yeah. And then you see to be continue. You like you motherfucker. <laughs> so you motherfucker. So you want to know what what's what's hilarious about that? So I I had the pleasure of interviewing Kim Powers and. He was shocked that so many people forgot that it was going to be. Yeah, I did too. Up too. So I and I told him, I said, I don't know what your marketing team did, but like me included, I forgot that there was a third movie coming. <laughs> so when I'm watching, I said that last 15 minutes was so intense because I'm like, yeah. I'm all into it. I'm like, yo, this movie going down. I'm like, yeah. wait a minute. They ain't, I'm like, everybody's saying how dope this movie is, but how can this movie be dope if they're not going to wrap this movie up? And exactly. Yeah. And then I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on? I'm like, oh. Yeah. Listen to me right now, bro. There are few things in film that piss me off. And one of the, the top thing about films that piss me off is you saying to be continued. You understand me? <laughs> the only films that I was like, I'm going to give you a pass are Infinity War Come and on. Endgame. And that's only because you dropped Infinity War. And then you, I think that came out in like a November or December type thing. Yeah. Yeah. And then Endgame came out in May. And you're like, I can deal with this because this is just a couple of months. But for you to do a to be continued and a movie drops the following year is like, bro. You really got me fucked also, up. Also, Infinity War was an ending. That was Thanos's movie. That was his. That was his movie. <laughs> that was his yeah. coup de gras right there. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that was his what? His coup de gras. His. Okay. Anyway, uh, you know what that means? Coup de gras. Who? What I say? Yeah. You said yeah. coup de gras. I say, nigga, that sounds like oh. a Cadillac. I thought he said. <laughs> I thought he said coot with a T. I was like, yeah, it's like, like hey, man, you never know what the guy, but. This nigga, this nigga, I'm saying. He said, he said, then he followed it up well with, you don't know what that means, nigga. <laughs> oh, you, 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 oh, you, you gonna double down no, like no, that no. on it, too. No, oh, CT, wow, okay. CT, it was the second one when he said it with more confidence. Like, <laughs> man, Coop the Grind. You don't know what that means? That's Gavin's brother. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the elite, the eliteness of Di Lag Boy when he is talking is crazy. Oh man! Hey, side note, Di, how you go to a podcast unprepared, bro? You was at the Daddy's Issue podcast and y'all had to run it back because you put the the oh the, man, the, hey, the hey, 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 let's, 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 let's skip past that. We're talking about T. <laughs> about this, I, I just had to bring that up. I said, no, this, this is the most funniest Dion moment ever. <laughs> Bro, Dion like is a different breed of human, dog. Who the who Bro, I'm so glad you don't have a son because if he had to live in your shadow of comedy. Oh my god! No, his son would have to do something else. Like he'd be doing something else, still great, but it'd be completely opposite of what he was. Oh, man, can you imagine you, Dion's son, and y'all at the barbecue, and you'd be like, hey, "Everybody, look at this!" And they're like, "Hey, Dion, get your son, man." <laughs> he bombing in front of the barbecue, baby. <laughs> Jesus, bro. When I look at the Spider Verse, my thing was this. It felt like a great origin story for Gwen. Well, not origin, but it was like you gave us a look into her. And I was like, they giving her a lot of time. Is this her movie? Right. Yeah, and then you start thinking, why isn't Miles a part of this group? Like, I'm wondering that the whole time. And they're like, yeah, he can't join. And you're like, well, why can't he join? This movie was done so beautifully. The yeah. only complaint I have is the to be continued because now you got me yeah. all in. And they I showed. Do. That Miles Morales might be the greatest Spider Man of all time because he beat all the Spider Man. <laughs> he didn't beat, he just escaped. Nah, man, that, that's nah, beating. That's, that's beating. That was a win. That was a win. That was a win. That was a win. 
Because because that's one that's one of a spider's main goals is to escape. Like they don't attack; they try to escape as yeah, insects. Yeah. And so you yeah, escaped I, I over five hundred. Yeah, Spider Man, bro. Yeah, yeah. In in a place you ain't never been in, using technology right. you ain't never had. Yeah. Right, right. You know, and the one thing I loved about Spider Verse, um, out you know, is the themes that they get, like that theme of like telling your own story like that was everybody because even in miles dad you know him coming into fatherhood trying to have that relationship and you know trying to find out who he is as a father right and then you had all the spider-men and the spider people like they are really trying to tell their story and then even with the full circle moment coming to find out that this miles wasn't even supposed to be the miles right now, but, yeah. so but he's really so now he's really is painting his story like yeah. i just thought that that was just amazing how they kept on driving that theme through through everybody's story even with spot like you know what i'm saying it, it, like the villain story you know he was like no i'm not the run of the week villain like i'm 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 the big guy so yeah. you know him trying to find his story and, and tell his story like i let thought me, that let me ask you him. this because spot wasn't really highlighted he was kind of like featured who is the villain of this movie is it spot or is it uh it's a dual villain. I feel it, like the A so, villain is definitely Spider-Man 2099. Yep. And then the B villain is Spot. But Spot's Spot's villain origin story for this film sets up his big thing for the next movie. Whereas at the beginning of this movie, you're like, oh, Spider-Man. <laughs> and then at the end, you're like, oh, I hate this dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I mean, I'm but saying, he had a point, man. I mean, I ain't gonna hold you. He's like, dude, you you fucked up. You you have ruined this canon moment. It's mm -hmm. like this has to happen now, man. So because you you saved the father, now all the fathers have to, you know, what I'm saying, get killed. So it was, but it was a but to that point, that's where I feel like, and I may be over had over uh, be overthinking this, but in that being the case, Spider Man 2099 already messed up. When he took Gwen, because mm -hmm. when he took Gwen, he changed and altered that whole timeline, oh, yeah. which forced her father to quit. And her father is supposed to die. Mm -hmm. And technically, Gwen is supposed to die, which also makes her an anomaly because she's the only one of her entire uh, timeline. Yeah. yeah. Which is why it attracts her to Miles. So and it's just like. Uh, 2099 already messed this up anyway and started causing canon failures. Yeah. Well, 20, 2099, I feel like also he was projecting a lot of his issues onto Miles because, mm -hmm. you know, as I was watching 2099, uh, his, like when they got to his storyline, um, the parallels to Doctor Strange's storyline and what if stood out so much because you got to remember in what if Dr. Strange stopped the canon event and then his mm -hmm. universe got overtook him by that black goo. So when you're seeing uh, 2099 tell his story and and you see his universe get taken by the black goo i thought that that was interesting but also what was interesting was he didn't really tell his story he was telling that universe's 2099 spider-man story so it's like bro like he royally fucked up and now he's using miles as his scapegoat, scapegoat. Like, oh yeah you know you did it it's your fault it's like bro no really you it could have been really your fault it's like it's it's so much under undertones that you got to try to try to figure out like that we was also cool. we also learned writers are very petty because um let's just be honest 2099 didn't hit like that and we fell in love with miles <laughs> uh, i see why you mad like you <laughs> that's you that's supposed to be you like just think about it like they told you you, you was gonna be that next spider-man <laughs> with e ethnic you know ethnic mm -hmm. and all of that stuff and it was yeah like, miguel we, yeah we just we just didn't it didn't hit and then it's like right, we're gonna try again with this dude miles and it miles blew up off. Blew. Yeah. and here's the thing you want to let's talk about latinos for a minute bro you said this earlier in the show and i'm gonna say this now latinos bro when I tell you they support oh. their own. Yes, so do. when you see this Miles Morales, and even though he's black and he's Latin, they like, yo, he's us. And it's like, hey, he's black too. He's uh, us. And you're like, yeah, yeah, but he's but he's both of us. You can come, man. but sit your ass in the back. Exactly. <laughs> so, bro, I love seeing. And I can't wait to see uh, Blue Beetle for this exact same reason. Man, when I tell you I love Latin culture, oh, I yeah. love the fact that that Marvel and DC have given us these characters, more Marvel than DC for this one because he's a mix of both Black and Latin. But it's like we have our own. And he makes us 
love the fact that he's so much better than the other Spider-Man because he's the only spider that has the electrical powers and he can go invisible. Like, come on. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I think I think one cool thing I really enjoyed about seeing this was something I think Marvel had been missing for a while. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they are starting to correct. And that missing element, especially for like black characters, is that family element. Yes. Like yes. that's what they had been missing. Like when we saw Black Panther, like that's why we attracted to him because yeah. you saw mm -hmm. that family unit. You saw like what the consequences were and what the actions were of being this hero yep. along with his family. The same thing with Miles. Like everything he did, we had something we could take away. Like, oh, my mom would definitely have said that. Mm -hmm. or my dad would have definitely said that. We hadn't really seen <laughs> that in a while. Like most of the yeah. people we see are black or either from the military and grown from their family or yeah. grown. And it's like we don't really either we have to accept them for who they are but it's still that disconnect from us to be able to relate and i'm glad they start to fix that yeah i'll give you one better even with the family aspect of it is when you look at you know a lot of these stories we always it's always the broken home and everything yep. like so when you got the the two parents and even their interaction because you know seeing when he was like hey, can i say it can i say it oh you won't punch me i'm like yo that's literally my parents that mm -hmm. that lameness of oh can i say it? can i like you know what i'm saying like i felt it i'm like yo that is exactly what i would expect ethnic parents to get who've been together for so long yeah they, they got that tag team on how they're going to yes. discipline their child and everything like i thought that was Hey, this is man. We gotta, we gotta stop this bullshit, man. Listen, uh, Will just said that shit, man. But he, damn I was giving specifics. God damn it. I was giving damn specifics, CT. Damn it. I was giving specifics. <laughs> he didn't say anything. He didn't say anything about the jokes. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the joke. I'm gonna give you the in Will's face, like. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's like it's because it's like we go get to that because you know we do the good, the bad, yes. and the ugly. We get into that. This was the yeah. overview. But he was already talking about family. I'm like, I, I didn't want to bring it back up. Like, That's like, no, you can't. No, it was just the short version. But you can bring it back up. I'm just giving the short because I don't want to be taking too much of y'all talking. And, so. and you didn't even hear it, but your mic was hating too. It said. Ooh. You ain't shit for that one, because <laughs> we all heard it, but we were stalling him out. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, though, CT. That's what I thought you was gonna talk about first. You're like, yo, come on, man. <laughs> Give him <me> feedback. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> I mean, I'm like, like uh, disrespected. All right, I feel like I earned my keep. I learned, I earned more respect than this. <laughs> Bro, I, I agree with you guys on the family uh, aspect. I love the fact that I'm just team Miles now, and I've been team Miles since the first movie, and then, of course, the video game dropped, right? Mm -hmm. And the video game, and I love that they highlighted that as well in the movie, all the video games, but beyond that, now we're getting a live action yeah. Miles Morales movie, and yeah. it's like the only kid possible to play that role is that little black boy or blackish. He's yeah. the only one who could do this. Whose name is Miles. Whose that's name crazy. is oh, Miles. Oh, that's that's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, and his name he's is black Miles. and Latino. Yep. There's it's nobody like, yeah, else. Yeah. And it's the perfect age range between yeah. him and Tom Holland. You better get in that gym, boy. You better get in that gym. He don't even have to for the first one. No, not for the first yeah. one. Okay. Especially yeah. if you go with his first get up with the hoodie and stuff like that. He'd be good. He needs oh, to shoot that movie that. in the next seven months, though. Well, no, we don't. We going through like a, a portal, and he's going to transfer. Well, we don't. We don't. We don't know. We know the only thing we do have co confirmed is that he'll make his live action debut in Spider Man Four. Mm. Mm. Okay. Now how I, feel, I got. How I got feel a about question. Miles Morales, uh, bunny hopping with the snow bunnies. Well, let's discuss it. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm going to do more. You in Latinos in his universe, <laughs> he said, "Nah." <laughs> I'm I girl. want a white girl from a <laughs> different, <laughs> from a different universe, <laughs> with a with a gap in her teeth, <laughs> and she playing the band. Like you don't even listen to this music. Like nah. what? What's happening? He, he hip hop as fuck. <laughs> you, you gotta give a pass only because and every black woman watching this, every black guy, every Latin man, you gotta give him a pass because this was the first girl. That yeah. was his, you know what I'm saying? It gave him attention. Yeah. And everybody know, it don't matter what that first girl looked like. If she's yeah. giving you that attention and love, you'd be like, ah, I like you. Yeah. And it's the first one I like, so I got to hold a candle to her. Now, who knows? 
because he was also kind of looking at spider bite a little bit the uh the computer yeah yeah, yeah. Part, there we go. so that's the first black one you just don't know yeah. Yeah. So, so here's my thing I, I still have not figured out maybe i can clear this up um because she said it uh the mama said it and i had the same question um age range how old is spider gwen oh great question what, what, um, <laughs> wasn't she in high school when she uh got bit or disorder, but again, they're not going off of like the ones that we know, so it's like <laughs> they said she, she, she they said that the, she's believed to be 19 when Miles oh, is believed to be 16. Oh, so he's uh, losers. <laughs> 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 so, so now are we finna get like in, in, the, in this perverted logic and be like, well, no, because in her timeline, 19 really means 16. That's her ridiculous. Her age, and, uh, and if he was there on her herb, they would be the same age. No. Nah. My brother's saying that the movie version, she's supposed to be 17. That's what he, he just checked for us. So, okay. So okay. maybe, okay. maybe they're going okay. off of that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can okay. deal with that. Yeah. Older white woman, I'm not mad. At it. I'm, not, I'm not mad at it. No the question that woman. I are are y'all big street ball fans? Like you know, and one and everything like that. Yeah, shout out Escalate back yeah. in oh one. So yeah, so one of one of the Easter eggs that was there was um the Sham God Easter egg. So Sham God in street ball, he is the known for the Sham crossover, and in Spider Man when they went to the other universe. When the New York when the uh, New York Knicks jersey changed, it changed to a Brooklyn Knicks, and the name of the player was Sham God. So, like, I thought that that was culturally dope, and you know, the fact that they took a, a New York street ball legend and in a different universe, instead of him being a street ball legend, he would be in the league. Like, I thought that was pretty dope. Mm. Okay. That's dope. Yeah, I feel like I would love to see a video and there has to be one that is being created or already been created where they go to everything that you missed because that movie moved so fast. Yeah. I almost missed um, <clears throat> you almost missed the video game Spider-Man because yes. the way that they were doing it, you're like, oh, so there's so many Spider-Man that we missed. I also didn't see the animated series Spider-Man. Unless they showed him, and I was like, I have to see they a video did. to find they out. Did. The one where, yeah, they did. One, the, he had like a, a square head, or you're talking about the one from the 90s? I'm talking about the one from the 90s. Oh, I didn't see that one. No, no, the only one that they showed was from the 60s, the one, the, the original cartoon. Mm, they showed yeah. they showed him swinging because that's the one they missed when he was saying, I'm coming for you, and he just and he straight yeah. missed. Uh, my, <laughs> that was what? the 60s. One. In, in your theater, what did everyone react to? Man, bro, my theater was so whack. Mm. Cause I had kids in there, so mm -hmm. uh -huh. when when they showed the the live action version and we got to see the premiere of Donald Glover as yep. Prowler, yeah, I'm sitting here wilding, yeah. geeking yeah. out, yeah, dead silence. My theater now, was crazy for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right now, y'all remember the part where they finally told Miles why he can't join and the Spider Man start coming around him? Yeah. And when the Spider Man from Disney XD. Came out and start talking to the one. Oh, the kids were crazy. Odd at, all That's these little little motherfuckers <laughs> just start yelling and screaming. I said, "You basic bitches! You, you, don't, you don't deserve to watch this." Didn't nobody get hyped for Andrew? But me, I'm like, Yo, bro. <laughs> everybody went crazy for in my theater. They went crazy for every single cameo, um, except. I want to. It's it's two bit Spider Man, but it's realistically Lego Spider Man. Like I didn't. Nobody in the theater got that one. We were like, oh. Uh, and that story is so amazing that they used the kid that did the trailer. Like that yeah. was so that that's so amazing that they because uh, they didn't know he was a kid when they reached out to him. They thought it was mm. some guy, and so they reached out to him. And they were like, oh crap, it's a kid. All right, well let's throw him in here. <laughs> and like, that's dope. Yeah, Mine was uh, mine's when it was like a. Grab Spider Man. They're like, oh, he doing it. They all point. They all point. Which one? Which one? That's that was a great one. I think. Uh, I just want to see more of it in a live action one because when we saw No Way Home, it yeah. was like, yo, Spider Across the Spider. -Verse. I mean, um. The first one was called what? Into the Spider-Verse. Into, into, yeah. into the Spider-Verse was amazing, right? We were like, this is the best Spider-Man movie. And then No Way Home came out, and you're like, this, then Into the Spider-Verse, then you got Spider-Man 2. Now, I'm with Dion, although I still got to give them their flowers. I say it's 
No Way Home, Spider Verse One, uh, Spider Man Two, and then this. But if they would have finished it, like if this would have been its own movie, this definitely would have taken the place of Into the Spider Verse. Now, if they Ooh. stick the landing on the third one, yeah. Now that we have the completion, mm -hmm. would would that be enough to give you this is the best Spider Man trilogy? Well, trilogy, that's the thing. So we haven't had an amazing Spider-Man trilogy. Like when you look at the Tom Holland, I don't care what nobody say. Yes, there were aspects of Spider-Man Far From Home that were fire, but that movie overall was eh, yeah, second one was especially close. following Endgame. You yeah. know what I mean? So if part three sticks the landing, it will be the greatest trilogy. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I, I just wanted to throw Will in there because Will say... Uh, no way home was not watchable. I oh, you know. out of control. I you said I, I, no, I did not say that. I <laughs> you said it's not rewatchable, as in like I wanted yeah, to. You, oh, okay, you didn't say that. You said watchable. Oh, you didn't say watchable. Re -watchable. Re -watchable. I said it don't have that much rewatch value. I said, yeah. nigga, the hell Are you it? crazy? What type who sold it to you? He got all this drug from Sheen. What what brother is giving you this narcotic? <laughs> that you should be <laughs> having him arrested for. I, mean, I watch that shit anytime I can, man. And if you watch it now, they got like an extra 12 minutes on it. So I'll what are the 12? Show. Um, they extended one was they extended happy scene um when they first went in to show the apartment and stuff like that. Okay. They extend that part. Um the Daredevil I know scene. The Daredevil scene is extended. I think when they're talking on the roof and stuff yeah, like that about going long. to school, that's extended as well. It's like it's 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 enough to where like I'm not mad it wasn't put in the original, right. but it's, just it, it's cool that you added it in yeah. there. Yeah. What was missing? So tell me about the Daredevil scene. What else happened in that? Um, he was telling it just further told Happy like what has to happen with his stuff. That was it. He talked oh. to Happy a little bit more before yeah. the uh brick came in. Got you. Um, yeah. Daredevil, yeah. when is that born again dropping? Man, it's on hold thanks to this writer strike and now this <sighs> flag strike. And then Spider Man 4 also said in solidarity, they putting a the hold on their stuff too. You know, that mess up that mess up actor schedules too. It was like, yeah. hey, I was scheduled yeah. for this, but I was supposed to be doing this after right after this. Yeah. Everybody available right now. <laughs> I had this conversation. <laughs> I was talking to Chance last night. He's like, hey man, Denzel is available right now. He's not doing nothing. I said, like, that's a <laughs> great point. Yeah, well, yeah. I saw that too, and it was like SAG went on strike, man. The actors out. I was like, man, digital about to blow up. About to blow up, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like we go ask anybody. Hey, what you doing right now? Nothing. I can do it tomorrow if you're ready. Yeah. yeah. Like me a lot of what? podcasts is happening from uh <laughs> You, wait, wait. He like Denzel Washington and Violet Davis got a podcast. <laughs> no. that, and you know what though? That's it. Thank you, Dion. That's up. something me, me and my cousin was having a conversation about. Was when they first had this writer strike, reality shows was what blew up, and yeah. so we wondered. It was like, okay, if this keeps continuing past a hundred days, what's gonna blow up for this one? And just yeah. what you just said, bro, podcast. Mm -hmm. Let me let me ask you. Let's go back to Spider Spider Man. Uh, what was that little? Because I'm not familiar with twenty twenty ninety nine. That little wolf thing that came out. It was like a glimpse of it, real quick. Oh, the va vampire thing. Yeah, the teeth. He's a vampire. He's a vampire. Oh, okay. Yeah. Explain his origin story to me, please. It's something to do with the spider. Not not like he got bit by a vampire, but something to do with the spider has to do with the fact that I think he has to ingest blood or some stuff like that. Oh, I shit. think it had to do with something with the spider. It's like whatever they mixed in with that spider is what got him to be like that. So can he be in a daylight or is it like... Uh, I, I, again, so it's something even with his city too. Like his city is different. Like even like how he swings and stuff like that is more a free fall than really like swinging around the city. Like his mm. stuff is like futuristic and everything. Like I think uh, the, uh, you know, did you got any uh, information pulled up for him? No, no, I was trying. I, That's I, what I, you I, looked I, like you was yeah. doing. I was. I couldn't. Let's say I'm, I'm trying to find the, the yeah. full detail of it. Yeah, right, right. See, and, and all this Spider Man 99 New York. See, my brother's here helping me out. We was trying. Your brother is not on the show, dude. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Y'all gotta give me time. You call what would have what would happen if Watch in. Mojo were to see what you're doing right now? 
<laughs> I usually pop in when I got the facts. Y'all usually don't ask me. So if I don't pop in, that means I don't got the facts. Right? But your, your face changed like the facts were ready. He like said, you did, you did this first. <laughs> you did, that's, a, that's what your face showed. That's what your face showed is what Dion just did. And then you looked up like, I'm ready to present. I'm that. ready to present that. <laughs> and he was not ready, ladies and, and gentlemen. A, and a, let me ask you this, though. And all the Spider-Mans, which one has the best powers or the best like, damn, that's the best because uh, CT definitely, you know, brought up the fact that uh, Miles Morales has the, the electric and it go visible. It may be Miles. I, it I, may I, be it's, Miles. It's, I it's, hard to, it's hard to go against that. Yeah. I mean, I you got to really think like the it. only reason before you say your answer, Dion, the only reason we really love Peter Parker is because he's the first. Mm -hmm. Right, he's the original, and we followed his story so long. We're like, oh, he's the guy, and he's gotten through all of his problems with, with intelligence and heart. Right, <laughs> Miles has all of that plus electricity and right. invisibility. Right, right, right. <laughs> and he had a hoodie, <laughs> and he got a hoodie and some J's. <laughs> Come on, man. The only thing, the only thing, Peter added to his suit that was like, yo, I got to step it up. Let me put some wings, some cobweb <laughs> wings, so I can fly. Hold on, man. I, I really liked uh, Spider Woman. Uh, where her, she had the fingers with the. Uh, oh yeah, all, yeah. Every one of her fingers has webs. <laughs> Which one is this? The black, oh, oh, the black one. Easter Ray's character. I don't like that they made her pregnant, unless that's gonna have something to do with the plot. Um, it, was, it was in the comics. That's why they they took that iteration from the comics. She's the only Spider Man who the world knows that she's a Spider Person. Like she doesn't have a disguise or anything. So that's why her being pregnant in that storyline was so good because they was able to tell a story of a Spider Person who was just out in the world. Everybody knows she's a Spider Person, so she can just live a regular life. But that's but, not true. It's like when you are a superhero and you have villains and they know how to. That's the purpose of having a secret identity is the right. fact that this can separate. Oh man, he is whooping my ass. Let me take this mask off and lay low for a couple of days. <laughs> but that's that's the only good thing that I'll say is uh, about Iron Man three is everybody knows you're Iron Man and you just talk shit to this guy and now he's found where you lived and bombed your yeah. house. So with yeah. Spider Woman, I'm never a fan of putting children and your family in danger. So by her being pregnant and the world knows she's Spider Woman, what's gonna stop an evil villain? To come and get her while she's in labor and can't defend herself, yeah. or you know, all of that stuff. That is true. That is true. Yeah, and I'm just like, even too for that being her introduction, you could have just said like, "Hey, I'm caring for two, but it doesn't really show it." Like, or some, or something to the point. Something. Where it's like, yeah. It's just well, like, I think I that the reason I think, and again, just going back to that comic book. Um, they wanted to show a, a hero showing. That was the whole purpose of it. So I guess, you know, if you think about it, adapting the Spider-Verse, granted, I get exactly what you guys are saying, but you got to think, you know, if she's the anomaly, the only Spider-Person of that, and that was only a short run story, I mean, you, you know, just to throw in that representation with this showing so many different spider scenarios, I was okay with it. It didn't really uh, impact. What, hear me out. Life. Hear me out. And this is the only reason I bring that up. We have so few black women that are standalone heroes. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree. With and you. when you have these black women that are powerful and strong and they have these superpowers, why not showcase them mm -hmm. doing these amazing fight scenes and their incredible intelligence and heroics without, hey, give the, give her a baby. And she black. With yeah. no baby and daddy. she black. No, with, she got a baby. The, no, she's she married. A she's got a husband. Dude. But I definitely thought that until she announced it. I was like, come on, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I want to see, first of all, the reason that I love this is because this is Spider-Woman. Spider-Woman has always existed since I was a kid. And this one is black and she's incredible, right? Mm -hmm. So many times we see them make a male hero into a woman and expect everybody to love it. And when you don't love it, you're a chauvinist, sexist, misogynist. And that's not the case. The case is sometimes we just want a dope woman hero that is a, that has always been a woman, that is an incredible hero, that is written like a male hero because they don't tie her down with the stereotypical things yeah. that make anybody hate them as a character. Yeah. That's another reason I'm like, man, can we have the black women who are heroes already? Can we have more of their stories? Like, first of all, Wonder Woman is a Greek demigod. 
I agree with Gal Gadot playing her. And if they ever recast the role, I need her to be darker. You know what I'm talking about? Because if we're talking about where she lived, yeah. those women are in that sun and they're not that complex. That wasn't island skin. You were, you, that you wasn't island skin. Island skin. But Gal Gadot is good because she is, you know, mm-hmm. of that area. But when we talk about Spider Woman, I'm like, bro, I wanted to see, um, you know, who's a good example? Did you ever see the movie Salt with uh, yeah, yeah. Angelina, Angelina Jolie? Yeah, that is the type of hero that I love seeing women be. Like when you see Atomic Blonde with Charlize Theron, you're like, "Ooh, I like this because this is her. This is her as a hero, and this is her story." Yeah, don't just give me a woman and make her. Uh, stunt her growth by giving her something where she can't give her all, like a baby, or she's uh, what's another thing they're trying to do? They try to make a woman so love sick that she can't yeah. choose to save the oh, world. That. Yeah. yeah, and then, but even too to that point, like I don't like again, and then it goes back to that whole this checkbox thing to make sure everybody's presented into something. Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah. wouldn't that have been more realistic? For Gwen to be pregnant, since y'all promote this sixteen and pregnant with these white girls all the time, see if you got to black out, see if you to go off. But okay, so my question is this though, because in the in the sense of that, <laughs> CC, stop. I'm trying to I'm trying to scoop past it. <laughs> stop giving the reaction. No, don't, no, don't scoop past that. Huh? How many seasons of sixteen? I'm trying to scoop past it. Have? <laughs> this reaction is thick. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally fine, guys. It's acceptable. Well, because I was going to say, I mean, because then, I, and, and granted, like I said, I agree with everything you said about black women and representation and showing yeah. it. But then they, I mean, that would mean that they would have to take the liberty of changing the origin of that character because that character, when it went black and when they did introduce her, it was that. So that's what, I did, and so like, then that would be okay. Now we would have to make take a different liberty with this character, but, which again, I think either way would be okay. For me, it didn't take it out because granted, like with even with her pregnant, it wasn't like she was stunted with the action, she was still kicking ass. And that in my mind, I'm like, see, just like a black mom, even while she's pregnant, she's still busting ass, you know. Like I'm that's sorry, how I'm, I had I'm it. sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, she was not. That girl made one jump on that motorcycle. The rest of the time, she was calling Spider Man throughout this movie. Don't do that girl. Ain't fought nobody. She was not in that chase with Miles. was around in circles and stuff. She was shooting and things together. She did a lot of shit. You know what? I may have missed more at the beginning of this movie. Yeah, that's oh, hilarious. Yeah. You I didn't miss the beginning of it. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. missed a lot. <laughs> because so, I may have missed more than just one minute. Ten, <laughs> I was like, how do you know you missed 10 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> I would ask people, I'm like, how much did I miss? And they'd be like, oh, you missed about a good 20. <laughs> I think I just I think I think just told myself that just to be quiet. What, but, what's the, <laughs> what part did you come in on? That's a better question. What part I did you come in on? I came in on the part where she was like, will you, will you adopt me? Um, oh, so that, that was right that, after the fight. That but was, you know what, though? But some, but you know what it is? After seeing her do some amazing stuff, and Gwen was oh. like, "Will you adopt me?" <laughs> yeah, and then and then I was paying attention to this dude that worked there that came through, and I thought he caught me, and I was just like, <laughs> "Yeah." <laughs> and then when he walked out, I was like, "He don't care. I'm good." Care. Um, but in, in the sense of since Dion brought up Vulture. The art styles that they gave Incredible. each individual character Incredible. that yeah. like Vulture was in like a, a Renaissance style art style that they right. did this Vulture yeah. and I thought that it was so dope how they addressed that with like the different Spider People different universes that was amazing the way they did that it was can slightly we, can we talk distracting about it because it felt undone but I knew each character had their own style like I almost had a seizure because it was it was so <laughs> much like what is happening so, right now. So can we talk? So can we talk about the one that was really giving epilepsy? Up oh, punk, punk, spider punk, yeah. like, bro, and intense. That's that was a lot. See, but he's now TV, he's right? he's now in in my top spider people. I fuck with spider punk heavily. Daniel Kaluuya yeah, did his damn it. thing with that with that it was role. Slightly distracting. Yeah. It, it, that it, movie. It, here's the thing, and I'm, I want y'all to go into it. Just to say, when I saw Donald Glover's cameo. Aside from us all wanting him to be the Prowler and all of that, his cameo was the first live action cameo in this movie. And the fact that they did that showed me, oh, y'all can go there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now mm-hmm. I'm even more excited for part three because it's like, if this movie went here, where yeah. the fuck 
is yeah. the third movie gonna go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they had the Asian woman from the Venom. Yeah, oh, but yeah. but the only thing I'll say for that is though that was pre-recorded. That was the only thing that I kind of was like, okay, I'll I'll give you that because it's the same part where they come talk to her and Venom already took her over and before he started talking shit, so it was the same scene. They just uh, added spot there, yeah. So Donald had the first authentic live mm-hmm, cameo. Yeah. In there, but just like how to y'all point, they even said that they think I think they said to the same amount, like there was 10, there was more live action scenes that were supposed to be in there that they took out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they, they, it was it, there was what there was, they kept on testing, trying to figure out whose live action would fit, like what would get like be the best. And they said that when they landed on Donald Glover, it just every it just felt good for everybody mm-hmm. to have Donald Glover in there and the fact that bro they literally shot that in April he's they said it was a day Damn. it was the last thing they one of the last things they shot it was they was like we just we had to get it done we shot it in April and then well think about it it also sets up the reason they probably chose that cameo is because it sets up the ending as well like when you see the animated prowler again and you're like wait a minute I get a chance to see this dude again which I think is Mahershala yes. and then you get a chance to see you know, other world miles, and you like this. Yeah. This is incredible all the way around. Yeah, and, you know, and I'm mad they took out the Morbius scene, man. You wow, <laughs> man. You know, hey, you know what though? I'm glad he brought it up, man, because that that would have made this movie even just icing on the cake, man. And it's before wild. Mor- Morbius grabs him, Tyrese just catches him and oh. saves him. Come on, bro. We need that. Hey, hey, if they jump back into the scene with Tyrese at the bottom, and then we go back to the top in that moment. And then, Yo. And then look, this, this, is how you, this is how you kill the engine. All of a sudden, you hear engines revving. No. And he says, hey, I see you're saving the Spider-Verse for family. <laughs> it just goes. Uh. <laughs> Bro, when Tyrese was downstairs to upstairs, no bullshit. Me and Dion were sitting next to each other at the downtown Regal, and I looked at him. I said, "That nigga went upstairs that fast." So imagine, <laughs> imagine in Spider Verse if they show spot yeah, and that spot, and Tyrese walked through the spot and then walked out the spot upstairs. <laughs> that would make that movie redeemable yeah. if yeah, they show that. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Get the Morbius. <laughs> that mo- Morbius was Morbius was too bad to be believable. It was like there's no way y'all shot this film yeah, yeah. and said, "Yeah, we're gonna release this this way." It's like there's no way. It, it was like, "Where's the rest of it?" Yes. Like, now, first, I, first thirty six minutes was fire. Oh my god! <laughs> so good, so good. Oh my god! You're like, how did we not want to see this movie sooner? And then at that 37, I mean, at 36 minutes and two seconds, you're like, ah, but oh. it's happening. Like, this nigga's in an orange jumpsuit already? <laughs> I said to Dion in that moment, I said, how does he not get a trial? I said this. <laughs> There's no way in no, no universe no, that no you go this. from getting talked to by the police <laughs> to being in prison <laughs> that fast, bro. I was like, listen, I didn't want to be stereotypical, but I was like, you don't get the suit that fast. That's all I'm saying. They don't give That's you that not. suit that early. <laughs> Joining us. Bro, hey. Let me tell you, Brody, before you even talk, let me tell you why this is unacceptable, brother. <laughs> we almost done. Yeah. And you are not even home. You walking around, looking like you're having a great day, saying hello to everybody to walk by you. You got to. What Spider Verse are you in right now? Say hello, face. And you mean to tell me you thought this was acceptable for you to click in at 53 minutes in? Well, the, the biggest thing about Spider-Man and his plight is that he's trying to balance. He's trying to find balance in his life, you know, between being Peter Parker, Miles Morales, and Spider-Man. Wearing the mask is hard, as well as being just a regular kid. And that's that's just kind of going on right now. This is kind of an analogy to that, you know. I'm in the middle of producing right now. I'm on a lunch break, and I decided I needed my two cents heard because I don't know what the fuck y'all niggas have been saying while I have been in there, but. I, it's just best to go out and never come back in. Yeah. <laughs> and that was Brody, y'all. That was Brody. Brody that is filming. Brody, ladies and gentlemen. He's filming. I think this is his 15th movie producing for uh, these children, which is amazing. It makes Why me jealous that I'm not a kid. Man, what just happened? What just happened? 
what is, what's going on in your universe, bro? Stay there. I don't know, man. It's, it's a glitch. I, I'm not gonna be here too long. Obviously, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be thrown into some other universe. <laughs> um, look, I don't know what was said, but I, all I do know is that was one of the most visually uh, fulfilling things I've ever seen in my life. Uh, the way they handled every character's emotion. I mean, just with Gwen and the watercolors and everyone's universe was amazing. I love the nod. I'm sure you discussed the 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 Prowler. Uh, the that 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 you know Donald Glover being in there. I like that they connecting that universe. I love they're connecting the Venom universe with the shopkeeper. That was amazing. So we know that you know everything is connected, and I'm I'm very hopeful for what uh, Beyond the Spider Verse has to has to bring. Bye-bye. Go back to the truck. And stay there. <laughs> I was like, "Why are you?" <laughs> background why are was you incredible. Still, I was like, "Why are you?" Still it was, it wasn't me, was or did it feel like the 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 western and the horse Spider Man felt kind of racist? It felt kind of like, <laughs> yo. Why did the bro, horse have a mask on? That felt very Ku Ku Klux Klanish. I ain't gonna lie, he did look like he say nigga a lot. Oh, it's like yo, I, I I don't know why. Like he got a lot of quips and stuff, but with the word nigga in them. We know that's a horse, nigga. We know that's a horse. That's a hor- there's no way that you're gonna disguise his identity. <laughs> and who are you disguising it from? Our other horses, like, ooh, I know that was you. What are they gonna know about it? Well, maybe, maybe I'm maybe I'm super ignorant to, to horse culture, but like is it easy to tell horses a diff- apart from each other? Because again, it goes to that question. I'm like, get right. <laughs> the mask off of him, man. Still, 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 still. I ain't gonna lie. My my uncle had a horse, and if you line it, that horse up with about 15 other horses, we just lost that horse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that out. Be like, look, I don't think this the same horse we came with. We did not leave with. This I can't tell Mr. Here. Ed from. I don't even know another yeah. famous. Who's another Pete. famous horse? And are, are Mr. horses Pete, obedient? You... Like if you say, "Chow, chow, come here," we come just him. Chow, huh? chow. <laughs> what type of name for chow, oh, chow? Oh man, hey, I ain't gonna lie though. That do sound <laughs> that like that horse, horse ain't man. winning no races. Like, no, chow, no, that's not like a, chow. That sounds like a form horse. There ain't no performer horse. I don't know that's if that's horses a... are obedient. Do they? Can they sit and do they? <laughs> you, you can horse? train a horse. Yeah, you can train a horse. I'm talking about their names though, like you know. I'm not necessarily sure. I know it's by movements and stuff. I don't know if they sound because like they'll do this with sounds and stuff. Mm. I know if you kick them and they hit, they move. Jesus, I, uh, I, wouldn't, do, I wouldn't do that. I would not recommend. No, you know, you know when you, you ride, you, you got to kick them in their leg, their little hips. See, I don't ever do that again, bro. That mm. looked like. All right, y'all, this is the perfect time to get to our final segment before we get out of here, man. And so I want to know, so we're going we're going with our four Spider-Man. Like, as I said, man, we now mm. have four Spider-Man in, in, you know, technically in the movies, not live action. But I want to know from you, I'm going to give y'all a few certain different, like, scenarios and which Spider-Man would you choose for your scenario? So the first Andrew one, of course. Four. <laughs> What'd you say, Dia? And why is Andrew Garfield number four? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, you out of control, bro. What you do like that? They ain't gonna pick him as number one. Stop it. Come <laughs> on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you party with out of these four uh, Spider-Man? Oh, that's different. Party. Andrew Garfield. Yeah, there we go. He was the he was the coolest. He was he was the coolest. Yeah. And we're talking in order, in order, bro. Okay. I'm talking about the man that I am now, right? Mm-hmm. I am an adult man. Mm-hmm. I'm hanging with Toby first you because are. Toby is a little older than us, but he is the guy. Like, I feel like me and him are going to have a good time playing Jenga, a little game night. You know what I mean? Number two is definitely going to be Andrew Garfield because he's in the age group of me to where we'd be able to be like, hey, man, yeah, let's go have some fun, but not too much, but just a little bit. Number three is going to be Miles because Miles is going to be like that little brother that you be trying to tell stuff about and you learn a little stuff about him. And you're like, oh, this is cool. And y'all both have enough different friends to where I'm taking something from him and my friends won't know. And he's taking something from me and his friends won't know. And then number four for me is Tom because Tom Holland's Peter Parker doesn't seem fun. <laughs> he just seems as Spider Man, he's amazing, yeah. but as Peter Parker, doesn't he, seem like a fun dude. He seemed annoying as fuck. Like, 
he really just seems like he's not a great conversationalist. Like, oh, facts. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I'm going to go Andrew Garfield. I am going to go Miles. I'm going to go Tom Holland. And Toby is last strictly because of he's a part of the pussy posse. And that's those stories that they did is wild as fuck. Him, Leonardo DiCaprio, like if oh. they, they was running first, wild in first, Hollywood. First of all, I don't want to be all, associated with that that's, at all. First of all, that's not Toby. That is that that we are talking about. Peter Parker, Spider-Man. Hey, I don't Toby care. I actor. feel like Peter okay. is going. I feel like Toby is. I feel like Toby where did you hear the, these stories? He's you never right. heard of the pussy posse, bro? Yeah. First bro, of all, I've heard of the posse. I said, where have you heard these stories? Everywhere. What are you talking about? Where they got a whole documentary on them? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Thank that's an answer because everywhere is not an answer. So where is this documentary? I, I don't know where it's at right now. I saw it on I, I got uh saw it on Amazon, so I don't know where it's at now, but it may but I'm, yeah, I'm they, gonna tell you the movie. They had a movie <laughs> uh with just what's it justine Justine? Um when she had got uh, arrested for like FBI for doing that little ring, uh, that, that little gambling ring, yeah, I can't think of the movie of it. I don't know. Um, mm-hmm. It was it was a Ildris Elba, Il- Ildris Elba in it. <laughs> oh, and that white, ch- oh, oh, and that white chick from uh, Interstellar. Yeah, the one, yeah, the one that looked like the other three white women with the right. red hair. But the that, guy, who Jessica Chastain. Yeah, yeah. she's the best actress out of all the three of them. I love her. Women we talk about. So she did a movie with Idris Elba. What was the movie about? I, I got to look at the name. Oh, but yeah. I know she, and the I guy, Michael, Michael Sarah was Toby in that movie. He was Toby Maguire? Michael Sarah, the actor. He yeah, was he was Toby Maguire? Toby. He was playing Toby Maguire, and he's a dick in real life. <laughs> Everybody knew that was him in real life. Toby, 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 um, what's his name? It's the Maguire. Maguire. Yeah, it's yeah. he's a, he's a real dick. Like, yeah, because it was, it, it was, I, I've had her was, stories about that. Like, it was yeah, Eve yeah. from Entourage, Toby Maguire, right. yeah. um, Leonardo DiCaprio. Like, they they crew was wallet. So they had like this underground gambling thing, like, like playing poker. And he was like, uh, he was like, like forcing women to like to give him head and you know, give you a tip and stuff. He was like, you know, he was really uh, was Molly's crazy. game. Yep. Let's go. That's it. Molly's game. That's it. Yeah, Molly's, Molly's game. game. Yeah. That's Watch it. that movie. And the character Michael Cero is 100 percent Toby. You can mm. look up that. Look up that. This is it. wild. That movie is incredible. That movie is yeah. incredible. Um, oh, so Michael Cera's name was Player X instead yeah, of Toby yeah, McGuire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, so Toby's my last because I don't want to be associated with the pussy posse at all. <laughs> 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 yeah, Sp- Spider Man, Spider Man one, two, three got to his head. He was like, I'm untouchable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna watch this. I made my meals off of Pleasantville, but now it's easy to <laughs> for this. Like I said, when he was when he, when he was doing the dance, that was really him. He was like, yeah, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yo, when he did this, this was like, yeah, you know, you do <laughs> you do this often. The director said, hey, what are you doing? He said, this is my motherfucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> this is my <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> movie. He said, if yeah. you cut this out, I'll beat your ass. I'm Toby Legend, motherfucking Wire. Legend has it. He, he started referring to himself as the first person and said the, name, hit the word bitch after he said it. I'm Toby Maguire, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I see you at Spider-Man 4. You said what? <laughs> you said <laughs> what? <laughs> they not. Y'all be casting. You, Molly's you, game. You I'm didn't see what we did this. to Venom. That was on purpose. <laughs> Yo, are they doing a Venom four or a Venom yeah. three? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, what's his face? Idris is in it. I think. Who's he gonna be? Um, I think apparently they the, the rumor is he's supposed to be Noel. I could be getting my actress. I mean, act actually uh actor mixed up, but they did just name a major actor that's added to Venom three. I kind of mm. feel like they should do a Venom three as a part one, and then oh. uh, Spider Man, whatever, and uh, as, a, as, a, as the two parter. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That'd be dope to kind of like, well, well. So if if thing. they do the rumored character he's supposed to be playing, then that makes sense because he, he's supposed to be playing Noel, which is the king of the symbiotes, the one that created him. Oh, so, so it'd be like a separation anxiety. You ever play that game? I think it, it could, that could be the storyline. They have yeah, that was Sega. Yeah, that would be a great. That's a great storyline, though. For yeah. this one. That was actually, Sega. Great memory. I'm actually yeah. ready this time. It was Chuatel. I'm probably gonna butcher that last. Chuatel Echafor. Yeah, that's, that's what they it. announced for Venom that's Three. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Chuatel Echafor. Oh, he's great. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm trying to yeah. think who he could. But if he plays Noel, I could, I could, I could see that. But I, I would rather him play somebody else. I'd rather Noel be like CG. Mm. Mm. I can say y'all gonna keep me in this movie because you know he did in, 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 in um, uh, um, fuck Doctor Strange. Yeah, he, he they killed him. Well, two different universes. No, yeah. no, they killed yeah, him huh? in our universe because they, no. they cut it out. If I'm saying up, he's Marvel and this is Sony. Yeah, yeah, what I'm saying is he's like, yeah, y'all gonna keep me in this fucking film. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Wait, how's he did? So if you if you watch the, the the director's cut on YouTube and stuff, they said they it was too bloody because he had fought um, he had fought Wanda in that little red realm and chopped her head off, chopped his head off. Yeah. And then when they when they when they zoomed in on that little apple box, that was yeah. his oh head. his head yeah, was supposed to be in there. Yeah, his head was in there. Did they so, show that though? No, 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 no. They didn't show it. But they he did then. He ain't did then. Well, yeah, sure. <laughs> I guess. It's like they did I Am Legend. They're going to do it like a... Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, if we didn't see them die, and even still at that point... I mean, it's comic book stuff, so, you know, anybody... There's there's multiple ways they can always bring them back. I, I did want to ask y'all about Spider-Verse. How did y'all feel about the music in this one versus the I one... I didn't like it, man. I was about to say that, dude. It, it ain't it's nothing... Mad Mid. Mad Mid. Mad Mid. I said... Because you got to think that title track, that Hello Danger in one, Ooh! was so empowerful and popping. We pick it up now. Hello Danger. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and Sunflower was fire. Yeah. Like Sunflower, Sunflower, absolutely. Yeah. Always. And, and you, can't, you can't hear Sunflower not think about uh, Spider Into the Spider-Verse. Yeah. Exactly. Bro, no, I wasn't even I wasn't even a big Post Malone fan. And then after yeah. Spider-Verse 1, I was like, let me listen to his... His catalog. Yeah, I, that, I maybe he, listen to it. Houston man, so you already yeah, know. Yeah, when, when he when he was he had released in the upside down and the music yeah. came in. Yeah. That, 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 see, that music was uh, the perfect recipe perfect. for that scene. Yeah. Yeah. There's like a whole, I'm going to send y'all a video in the group chat, but there's like one that, and it says Hello, that this scene is what made me fall in love with this whole movie. And I got chill books. But the you know what? Come off, it's just like, Whoa. I love how Again, also going back to this movie, I do love how they do the upside down stuff because that shot when Gwen and Miles yeah. was just chilling um, underneath, that was a beautiful shot. Yeah, that was yeah. beautiful, yeah. Heroes up, yeah. And yeah. it's so symbolic to their realities. You know what I mean? Both their lives feel like turned upside down. I mean, that's just the obvious Ooh. of it. And, but then they're nice. still viewing New York in in a regular. You know, it's like yeah. there's there's so much to it, man. There's a, that movie is just. I mean, artist. There's. I'm gonna go see it again, but there's just so much to digest from that. What I don't yeah. like is how do they stick in with their shoes and they got a whole air force. I you. swear to Thank God, you. I was thinking that, bro. Thank you. Yes, because that's was a yes, bro. I'm so glad the three of us. How that was, was last thing. How? how? That's the how one thing I have a problem work? with. That's the one how thing I do have a problem work? with. It's very unclear because it's, I mean, they just be walking like, like they don't even, I don't even think they have special. I, I think they just do them slippers. They don't really matter. No, no, yeah. So, so, so they explained it with, with the Spider Man suit, which yeah, is his suit, boots yeah. are, are thin. So his boots and his foot are thin enough for the mm -hmm. little uh, things that come out to cut to go. That makes right. sense. Jordans are this thick. <laughs> Them soles is thick. Is <laughs> hey, how are you attaching Jordan? That means he probably got some team Jordans on. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Underneath that suit. Got that thin sole. Yeah, yeah, He's been wearing face. face. He got the side chick Jordans. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Ladies he is and... from New York, so you know that's home of the bootleg Jordans. It's easy. You go to what is it? Uh, the, 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 what's it? The Canal Canal Street? Yeah, you go to Canal Street, get you some Team Jordans. You can stick to any surface. That's how any they advertise. You want to go to the Chrysler building? Where are these? <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense, bro, because when I saw the shoes, I'm like, ah, the boots make sense because it's like you can get through the sock, yeah. you can get through the shoe. But when you're talking about thick ass soles, bro, <laughs> how far are your joints coming through, man? Your shoes are shredded. Shredded. Because that's what I love about Tobey Maguire Spider Man is they showed it coming through his fingers. Yeah, so you're like, yeah. all right, I now get this. But they did not show. Un nah, because that goes back. I was about to say the suit's still thin. So if it's coming through his like thighs or knees, that also makes sense. But the well, shoes, mm. if the suit's so thin, I mean, what happens when Mary J comes around? I mean, like, Come what's, on, what's, man. <laughs> you're directing a movie with children and you're talking like this. <laughs> you're, you're Toby Maguire's in his 40s, so let's let's stick to that. One. <laughs> 
He I want to see his, uh, web slinging. Like, I want to see Spider Man four. I want to see Spider Man four with Toby. I want to see Spider Man four with uh Tom. I want to see Spider Man three with Andrew. And I want to see this live action Miles Morales yeah. immediately. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, so before we get out of here, just one, just one of these things. What do you expect that we will see as a surprise in the next one, which is of course beyond the Spider Verse? Oh, who do I you think will cameo now? I Even like from that, that, but who who do you think they might cameo from this? Now that we do have those villains, they got to show Tom because that's the only Spider Man they did not show. Yep. Yeah. Um, and beyond that, I'm at a loss for words because I didn't expect half of what I saw in this movie. Exactly. I'm I'm going 90 Spider Man. I feel like they saved that for the third one. I really I hope want so. the 90s cartoon. He doesn't get enough love. Yeah. yeah, and I would love to see him as Peter. Like I don't even have to necessarily see him dressed as Spider. I love that drawing style. I would love for him for Miles to interact with him. I you know, I don't know what direction. I, I think what they're gonna do, they're gonna they're gonna um, because I know I know the spot is going to be the big villain. Yeah, they're gonna have to settle their differences with all the other Spider Mans early. But then also get Miles from his situation, which is mm-hmm. technically a small villain of like, hey, I am him from a different universe. They had to fix that real quick. Um, but I feel like the spot's going to get bigger and bigger. And then they all going to have to come. To, all the spider is going to have to come in. And, and I don't even know how to kill this. Nigga. But you're not acknowledging Prowler from from the the uh, the evil Miles, yo. That's that's yeah. the real problem, yo. That's what's it. Because it's for him to try to keep his reality the same. Either they're gonna have to team up, you know, somehow, just to create. Because the spot is the one that's really creating the anomaly in both their their universes, you know. Mm-hmm. So I think that they that's the one they're they're gonna have to team up to take out. But I think Prowler uh, in in uh, the other you know, in the forty two universe is gonna beat Miles' ass. Go ahead. Clayton got something, yo. I know he got something. CT got what something. What if? What if in part three, Miles has to fix his timeline to where he never got bit by the spider? Damn! Just so forty two could have a Spider Man. So I got, I got, I got a, I got a. Uh, wow! Uh, and that's a, the end a, of the trilogy. Go ahead. And, I got a, and I got a versus Miles. version of that. I got a, I, the version of that. What I believe that may may happen is. This is how I believe that Miles can fix this whole scenario, because in his in, in the the R Miles, I, I promise you, nigga. If you say the same thing CT just said, I'm gonna <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not, it's not, it's not. Ah. I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm address okay. the reason why he can save his pops. Go ahead, general, right? Because in his universe, remember he wasn't supposed to be the Miles, right? And so there. Damn. Oh boy! All right, I'm gonna finish what he was trying to say. So, so basically, I I honestly think that really we also need to include. I, I think he's gonna grab. I I thought you, you froze. I thought you, you just did not. Yeah, you froze. Go ahead. Oh, I froze. Yeah, you froze. So oh, say yeah. it. Take it back. All right. The way so, to save his pops in his universe. Yeah, so he would save his pops in his universe because in his universe he wasn't uh, like like CT said he wasn't supposed to be bitten. And so like obviously the third they're going to figure out that, but. In the dark universe, in that mouse, the canon event had already happened. So, and technically, there's no Spider-Man in there. So, my theory is this: in that in that dark universe, that mouse is end up. He's not going to ever become a Spider-Man. He's going to remain Prowler, but he's going to be a different Prowler. Because if you listen, if you read any of the Prowler comics, he's that anti-hero. So, you know, he's not necessarily bad all the time. So he's just, you know, the person, right? So. He doesn't necessarily have to save his pops because that canon event is not necessarily going to be the canon event for him. Because he's the anomaly and he was bit by the spider from a different universe, he really just has to save and help that Miles in the evil universe, like CT said. But I don't think that there's anything dealing with the spider people in regards to it. He Because that canon event that's supposed to happen, even though his pops is about to become the captain, I don't think his pops is really going to die. And that's how they're going to be the scapegoat. Because that whole scenario, the whole reason, that whole Spider-Man, it wasn't supposed to affect him at all in his universe. And I do believe that that's, to me, that's what I think is going to wrap it up in the way. I hear you. That's also, I think I'm just so used to the 
Miles' dad dying because even in a video game, video it's game. like, ah, you know what I mean? That's what I was going to say. That's exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> and the theory I have is mm-hmm. – oh, go, go ahead, brother. No, I was going to say, I mean, that, that's in the, and also another element too. I mean, is it going to be uh, Miles from um, – I can't remember which number, but non, 942 – our miles teaming up with PS4 miles to take on 42 miles. Hey, that'd be fire. I ain't gonna hold you. That'd, like be that. fire. that'd be fire. I will fuck with that. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold be fire. <laughs> but also to that point, I think how from what y'all saying is, I think Prowler's gonna try to go kill Miles' dad. I think he's going to get that device from Gwen or some of the other spider man and he's gonna go over there and take him out because of him taking that spider from him. You changed my whole life. So because of you, I lost my dad. Now I'm gonna take yours from you. And that's what's gonna be the big fight and chase is him going to that earth to kill him. I think it's gonna be really like it like tenant. It's gonna be like really inversion uh, in the next one. It's gonna be like Whatever they're going to be, whatever you did in your universe, we're going to do in mine now, you know, to balance things out, to bring it back. Because in his mind, the Prowler Miles, I think he sees himself as saving his pops and restoring order to his, to, to 42. Yeah. You know? That man, I'm just, I'm very excited. Does anybody know the date of the next one dropping? It's so March, 20, now, think, right? March 26, 2024. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm already and then hopefully, yeah, hopefully they don't get moved by the because of the strikes. I'm like, y'all bold as fuck. No, that's done. No, no, no. Like, they ain't already told no, it's me. Not, like, no, it's not. No, it's not. They uh, no. They, that's I, that's that's publicity. Like animation. No, I, I, I just do, I I literally that's right shit, before no, here no. I interviewed the director. That they only done. got partial of the voice acting done. There you can I like, can I bring this up to y'all's attention, man? Is anybody noticing how different Deuces is now? Di. He's different, bro. There was a time where Deuces used to he be was like, humble, baby. he was humble. Deuce is now, uh, come on, man. I was just talking to Ron Howard and I was talking to his daughter Bryce. You guys don't know anything. I'm just like, man. How are you talking like this? I'm just well, trying to keep telling y'all. <laughs> you, <laughs> yo, you, 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 like, you know what did it, though? CT, this. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. When the hand came out, I was like, oh. Oh. You're you're kind of like uh, like baby group. You were young deuces. Now you're like teen deuces. You're about to be a deuce. He's like a group. He's, you're like group, bro. No, deuces. And he don't he's even live attitude. in L.A. yet. Wait till he gets to L.A. Yeah. Oh, he's going he's gonna to hit up. Hey, man, just send me an email. Why y'all putting this on my jacket, man? man. <laughs> His hair going to be braided back like the other Mor- Miles Morales. <laughs> <laughs> Just always got his head up like this now when he talked to him. Man, deuces is different. <laughs> turn around like this. He can turn around like they go. Kill I don't go by city. deuces anymore. <laughs> I go by Trace. <laughs> I go by Trace. <laughs> I, go, I mean, listen. If I'm a, if I, if I'm a ball, let me go to Ace. Why I got to go down to th- to Trace? At least me, let me go to Ace. Let me go with the one. <laughs> I mean, I, I was thinking three P for the ring, but you know, honey, yeah, you know, whatever you want. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this has been another great episode straight out of the comic book, man. I want to thank my uh homies for coming in, man. Young dudes, Dion Lack, CT, and of course, Brandon Brody for dropping in, man. I appreciate y'all time, man. Make sure y'all let us know in the comments below who was the MVP of the spider-man film let us know in the comments below we checking in. i didn't i didn't say mine for the record but i'll be fast it was miles morales that's who i'd hang out with uh, you know he, he reminds me of my son he's black and you know has his latino Aww. then i got you know what i'm saying then i would ha- have to hang out with uh i'd hang out with tom holland honestly because think about it tom holland got zendaya think about that think about that zendaya got <laughs> friends all right third I would probably rock with uh, I definitely rock with Andrew Garfield and my least would be Toby because that dance. I I just only had one Miles Morales because he got the little band to go to different things and we could partner with different Spider Man. I'm gonna just leave it at that. Uh, before we get out of here, I'm gonna let y'all go around. We're gonna start with Deuce, then Dion, uh, Brody, and then CT, and we'll close this thing out. CT, I mean Deuce is you up first. I mean I don't really do much, so just follow me on Young <laughs> underscore Deuces. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the Ooh. credits. Nigga. That shit was about to be ten minutes, nigga. Yeah. So yeah like, the, the Brandon wrote though. Brody rotating. Why he did it though? That's what he said. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't go by anything by deuces anymore. 
<laughs> oh shit! <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> so I walked up. I walked up to the director. And I was just like, "Hey, I'm deuces. Deuces. That's all you got You're doing a good job, man. What is this, uh, Captain America: New World Order? I like it. I'll talk to you when your movie come out. That's how he is now. Are like, nah, I think y'all should change that name. New World Order ain't fit no more. We need, we need, we need, we need, we need Here I was more. talking to Harrison Ford and my man Mackie, right? And. <laughs> They told me the plot. I said, Y'all gotta change act three. You gotta right? change it. You gotta change it. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to Robert Downey Jr. And uh Downey Jr. Downey Jr. You you know my man Seth Rollins, right? Yeah, you know, I got him a little part in the you know the new Captain America. A little so, cameo, you know. You know, you know he brought me to WrestleMania. To KF. So, Who's KF? You know. Kevin Feige. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I, had, I know I y'all think of yeah, he's <laughs> president. I call him KF, anyway. Kevin Feige too, you know. That's hilarious, bro. <laughs> Go ahead, deuces. You know you want to say it, nigga. Tell us what's going on. This is the time. Listen, just follow me on young underscore deuces. Go to Watch Mojo. I'm doing list over there and go to Sway's Universe. I'm doing content over there for Blur Culture. Woo-hoo. Look at him, boy. His his locks fail, and that boy to change, man. <laughs> you, know you know, once they touch the shoulders, you start acting different. Ooh, right? you start acting different, boy. <laughs> I remember the days. Go ahead, Dion. What's up, man? Uh, Dion Lack, man, all platforms. Uh, follow me on Lactose ENT, uh, content weekly. Uh, that's it, Brody. That's uh, Brody the Joker, B R O A D Y the Joker on all platforms. And I've got a live taping on Father's Day. So if you're in the DMV, pull up to the Arlington Draft House. It's a live taping Father's Day, it's Juneteenth. So there's no school, no work that Monday. Pull up. I love it. Uh, at CT is dope on everything. I appreciate you having us on, Will. This is an incredible time. I look forward to doing this in, uh, in two weeks after we watch The Flash. Yes, hey. be we might need a special Beast Wars joint. I just saw Beast Wars last night. Oh, oh yeah. We'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll have a Beast Wars. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we got to talk about that. Yes, I'm going to watch it. I ain't. I've never been a. Ever since Sam Whitwick left, I was like, oh, I guess. Uh, hey, hey, they they might be back with this one. Yeah, they back with this one, bro. They back yeah. with this one. Yeah. What well, is Sam Whitwick back? <laughs> no, I should I shouldn't ask. Don't answer. That. I should. Don't, don't, Here's don't the thing: is this the a guy, the Latin dude that's playing the lead, man, this dude is such a great actor, and I love that they're giving him a chance to be this leading man because he's played some feminine characters before, and I'm like, how's this gonna work? His acting. People, oh, he, people don't be knowing. So it's like you can go on and kill. But if he was black, when I tell you, everybody would know. Hey, y'all about to watch the movie with this dude? And he'd be like, hey, what? <laughs> I mean, he was a two on two. Pass. We gave who? Vin Rains. Did his they? Op- his, his open. <laughs> you see, you think? Did they give him a pass after Holiday Heart came out, boy? Come on, <laughs> and, man. And Pulp Fiction. No, 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 no. That was different. No, no, no. That was different. Yeah, that that different. That, that, that was that was acting. That, that was forced. That, <laughs> so that, 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 that was in that was in the movie. It's like Sam having to listen to Quentin Tarantino say dead nigga storage for like 30 minutes. It's like, yo, you lucky you put this in here and paid me. <laughs> Holiday <laughs> Hart, he chose to do that shit. Holiday Did Hart I was ever back. tell y'all about the time me and Ving Rain was <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get out of here, guys. No, Always no, a pleasure, no, man. No, this no, is uh <laughs>